Welcome back to Jolie Farms in Ecuador. Glad you're here today. Thanks for joining us. Joe and Lisa here. Just want to talk to you a little bit today about the dry season here in southern Ecuador. We have one kind of every year. <laughs> we don't really have four seasons like we, we came from. Of course, I'm not sure Texas really had four seasons, but they were really short on some of them. Yeah, here, you have I don't know. wet and dry. Texas was... Um, Hot, really hot, True. super hot, or super cold. Yes, yes. Those were your four seasons. And they could all happen in one day. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, um, you know, not all of Ecuador is um, affected by the dry season necessarily, but definitely here in the Sierras, um, up here in the mountains, yeah, we definitely have it. Starts in, a, in about June. Yeah, I looked it up. The dry season goes from the June from June to the end of September. Yeah, so we're still in the middle of it. I mean, hopefully it's going to end. We got a little drizzle, a little rain yesterday. We did. The difference is is that and and somebody told me one of the farmers told me they have a uh, El Nino about every 4 years where it's super dry. And this year we're super dry and we've got lots of wind. Yeah, and, you know, we've shown you the video on the fires here. Yeah. And um, there's still some going, unfortunately. And that was a very small portion of what was burning. Oh, my goodness. Um, we drove to Loja and from the little town of Landangi all the way to Nangora, mm. um, the whole hillside, about five miles long, completely burned on that mountain, you know. Yeah. It's weird. Way too close. That's the one that they actually shut down the road between here and Loja. And it was, there's a, a mountain on one side that burnt. And then there's the river in the middle. And then you come up on the other side and you got a couple of houses and then the road. Yeah. And uh, the smoke got too thick at one point for cars yeah. to pass. So they had to shut it down for a little bit. Unfortunately, um, that one's out. But we've still got a couple up on the mountain here that are still smoldering. Um, it was going pretty good night before last. Yeah, it really was. And, uh, and it, you know, when we get these super dry seasons, when um, they, they don't declare El Nino till they hit a certain temperature in the ocean. And so they haven't really declared it yet, but it's, so far it's looking pretty promising to be an El Nino in that it's much drier. Usually have little rainstorms to help refill the rain barrels. Not this year. This year is n pretty much nothing. Yeah, and, you know, last year was kind of a good year, and we got rains early, you know, first part of September. It was mm -hmm. raining pretty good, and, um, <clears throat> you know, we got pretty regular rains. We did. This year, because it's so dry, the fires, they just, they take off between the, the dryness of everything, and then the wind, it it's pretty massive, and we heard that there's fires behind us as well. So Yeah, over in the Canary area. And that's because they're burning fields off over there. They're burning sugarcane fields. And those things get out of hand when they do that. Yeah, the history of El Nino's and the severity of it has happened in the past, not every four years. It looks like 1982 to 1983 was the first time they really measured it with scientific equipment. 97 to 98, it was really bad. Um, so it just... It, it comes and goes, and, you know, I looked at some history of rainfall, and I'm not going to say the amounts um, are more or less. It just seems like when there's an El Nino, the drier season is drier, but then when it rains, it really, really rains, and that's what they're most concerned about because um, with that super heavy rain after having such a really dry summertime, you um, you're going to end up with more landslides and that we've seen landslides take out villages. Yeah. Villages, and, highways, yeah. highways get shut off <clears throat> and we can be shut off between here and Loja. I mean, it's happened before usually only about a day or so before they get it somewhat cleared off and working again. That's when it's a simple landslide. Yeah. But if it takes out part of the road that's on the side of a mountain, it could be longer. That's bad. We do have one alternative to go around through Catamayo. Um, that'd be an hour and a half or plus trip that way. But so there is a way, the back way to the airport, we call it. Mm -hmm. So um, 
you know, everything's so dry, I won't even use my barbecue grill right now because I'm worried about some embers getting loose and starting something here on the on the property. Um, it, it's kind of sad right now. I don't do a lot of pictures on the property because everything is crispy. And we are, you know, we stand possibly to lose a couple, couple trees. We're trying to keep them watered. You're not supposed to water with potable water here. We don't have a canal. Our rain barrels are about empty. Our pond is empty. So, you know, by this time, we're expecting to get filled back up, and we've probably got a couple more weeks before we get heavy rains. Yeah, we pray for rain, but we know that seasonally, we got another month or so before it gets here. Yeah, October, usually we have some a few decent rains, mm -hmm. and then it's January before we really get heavy in the rains again. Yeah. Um, but October is kind of the time frame where everybody plants corn and stuff around here because they're expecting those rains. We'll see what happens this year, see if the corn planting's been delayed or not. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you do go through the dry season, then when the, you know the rainy season's <clears throat> coming, you really amp up and get ready for planting. So we'll see. I mean, I think it's going to have to rain a little bit just to <laughs> make the ground not so rock hard so that we can plant. So this is something about living in this part of Ecuador that you really need to take into consideration. Have some plans for um, fire prevention and how you're going to battle a fire if it you know, comes towards your property. And um, you know, we cover all of that in our homesteading group on every other Monday. Mm -hmm. And so we talked a lot about that last Monday because it's at the forefront of everyone's mind. And um, what kind of you know, plants and trees you're going to plant and how you're going to get those things watered continuously um, if you're using a potable water, um, once you go over, I don't know, 20 square meters a month or something like that, it's three times the rate. So now you're going to start paying some serious money for water. Right. Our water bill is usually around five bucks. So um, that could be in the hundred dollar range that quick. And, you know, we've talked about the rain collection that we have. And this year it has been so dry and so windy we're out of water in those rain collection barrels. Yeah, we do have a meeting this Sunday. We we're talking about building a canal up here to Moyapamba and beyond. Um, I don't know if they'll make it work all the way up here to us. It'd be nice if, if they did, we'll participate in that. Mm -hmm. I would like having canal water, which is irrigation water. And, um, you know, if nothing else, we can always keep our tanks full of, with that canal water. Right, right. Just, just to have an alternative so we're not using potable water. And it gives us, you know, an alternative for firefighting, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. We haven't had to do that here. We had a welder one time working on the casita, set the um, field on fire outside the wall, and we had to put that out, but that was no biggie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But we've been very fortunate. But here, up on the mountains, when they put out fires, they're not doing it with water. I mean... It's, it's yeah, they're beating it out and shovels yeah. and things and um, branches with leaves, you know, and they're beating it out so yeah yeah it's always a little risky to be burning around here especially this time of year so um we're gonna you know i'll shoot a couple of pictures and put them up here but our property is is um crispy yeah it's crispy it's 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 not the usual flourishing and beauty like it normally is it's starting to get there where we're, we're losing a couple of plants and uh trying not to lose any trees we try to water around the base of them Mm -hmm. and uh, keep those going real good, especially our fruit trees. You know, we, we do like our fresh fruit. We do. We do. All right, so we'll update you as soon as we start getting some rain or if things change. Um, so this is a little bit different year, really dry. It's happened before. I'm sure it'll happen again. I'm sure. Um, we're praying for rain. Pray for rain for us. That's right. All right, I hope you're having a great day. Thumbs up. Ciao for now. Mm -hmm.